Well, it's the start of day five. We had a great night, great campsite here. You can see the sun just kind of slowly creeping down the mountain. It's so beautiful. It's about to pop right over. It's going to be a lot warmer. But uh, Aaron, the trail angel that brought us our resupply food, he also picked me up some instant coffee. I'm really, really grateful for that right now. I'm loving that. Also eating these crappy uh, cereal bars, not so fun. We're going to be hiking only about 10 miles today, 1,700 feet of climbing and stopping right before Anderson Pass, one of the big passes, and the pass right next to King's Peak, the tallest mountain in Utah. So we're going to be hitting that up tomorrow. It's going to be a good day of hiking. When we first started hiking, we could see King's Peak. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it now. Maybe right around these trees. Let's see. It could be. I think it's over here. Let's see. I think it's over there, but it's hard to tell now. We've come down, we've come down in elevation now, so it's kind of hard to see. We can't quite see like we could this morning. But man, look at these mountains. Such a good, clear day. So much better than yesterday. Such a great trail. We were camping back there last night, and you could see this huge mountain light up last night when the sun set and then also this morning when the sun came up. I've never hiked anywhere where it looks like this. It's beautiful. This is Fox Lake right here. We're going to be going kind of around it and keep heading that way. We're walking to uh, the remnants of an old cabin that used to exist on this lake and Chris was saying that they, they kind of, uh, it's more of a, well they expanded this lake and it was kind of a reservoir for some of the neighboring towns around here and this guy used to live in the cabin and maintain the lake. So we're kind of walking a little bit off trail. The trail just goes right around the lake. What it's looking like right now. Talk about beautiful. Talk about beautiful. Yeah, so I think I was wrong. I thought that was King's Peak, but when I pulled out Google Maps and looked, it's actually, I think, that one in the back back there. So we're probably going to have to go. Our climbing might be going over that first hump and then dropping down a little bit. I've backpacked a lot of places and this is right up there with the best. This, this place is breathtaking. I've, I've loved it. I mean, it's been, we've experienced a lot of different emotions and feelings on this hike. I mean, that thunderstorm was the most intense storm that I've ever been in. I've been in some bad ones for sure, but I'm usually in my tent tucked in the trees. I've never been in a lightning storm at above 10,000 feet, completely exposed. You know, then to have the elevation sickness, I've never had that happen to me. Uh, it's just been a pretty wild hike, it really has. But I'm loving it, I'm really loving it. So beautiful, every campsite we've stayed at has been spectacular. This place is hard to beat, hard to beat. So we're trying to find the guys, I'm not quite sure where they all are. But we're going to keep going and track them down. Look at this. Man, this is pretty cool. This is cool. I think people were a lot shorter back in the days. Look at this. Wow. We're just down from the lake. You can hear this beautiful stream just running right next to us. I'm actually about to get some water at it whenever I see a little side trail to it. It's just so cool walking towards the big mountains the biggest mountains in Utah. Sucks. I just I feel like shit. I don't want to walk anywhere. Been up the whole night with like a, a hacking cough and it won't go away. Can't sleep. Can't, don't feel like eating anything. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Uh, but I'm just calling it. I'm not having any fun right now, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna hike like an eight mile side side trail down to a trailhead. And uh, Gordy, who got off <laughs> yesterday, is gonna come pick me up in the rental car. Uh, so I'm out of here, but I bet you guys will have fun. Uh, five more days to go after today. I'll see you guys at the end.
Well, as you just saw, Joe had to bail. I've never seen him like that. I mean, this elevation is no joke. I mean, I was puking day one and had the, a bad headache, and Joe's been pretty out of it, I'd say, starting day one or day two. So I think he made the right decision. He, he wasn't sleeping at night. Last night was real bad. I woke up at like two or three, and he was wide awake, um, just pretty much trying to catch his breath. So he's gonna have to hike eight miles, go over a pass to get to a road. This is a beautiful trail, but it is, uh, it's no joke, this elevation. I mean, you're pretty much up over 10,000 feet the majority of the time. I mean, right now we're at 10,690 feet, so, uh, and we're pretty much just gonna be going up from here. I wish him luck, hope he gets back there fine. I'm sure he will, he's got way more experience than any of us. We're in another beautiful meadow. It's, I know it's getting repetitive. It's like every time we pop out of the forest, there's just another breathtaking spot. You can see the trail just kind of follows right along the edge and goes back in. We're probably going to go over this, maybe. That's possibly where our 1,700 feet of climbing is going to come in. I got it. It's a good water source. You didn't fall yet. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Not that we want you to fall, Steve. You're awesome. We want you to fall. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest stream crossing we've made it to so far. I mean, it's still not anything you're gonna get wet doing, but definitely the widest one. I bet this thing is flowing though uh, when the snow's melting. We're gonna grab some water here though. Looks perfect. Wow, yeah, I would love to have a fly rod out here. Beautiful. Look at this. Mission accomplished. Well, we're within about a mile and a half of our camp spot for the evening. We are planning to camp at a lake that was off trail. So we'll see, we might, if we find something good on trail we might just try to make that work we've seen a lot of creeks and streams but i don't know if we're gonna pass any more now we're started to climb uh because we are approaching anderson pass that's really the next marker on our map is anderson pass which is the biggest pass and it's the high point of the actual you went to highline trail uh, and then from there we're going to shoot up another seven eight hundred feet to king's peak but this is what it's been looking like when we haven't been in the meadow meadows today we've been in forests like this and it's been more similar to some hike hiking i've done before in the past today uh just real rocky and in the forest and ups and downs so we've had 1700 feet of climbing total today but none of that has just been one big climb it's been a lot of ups and downs it's just kind of added up. So another beautiful day out here. Really, there's not a mile on this trail that's not breathtaking, at least from what we've done so far. So we're gonna keep going and see there's a, almost looks like the trail goes that way, but turns to the left here. We got a couple of rocks stacked there, small rock current, just to let you know that. Well, we're gonna keep going. We'll be back. We get to the campsite. Just spit us out to a breathtaking spot. Just another incredible vista here on the Uinta Highline Trail. So check this out. We just had some elk run right in front of us too. They're probably over there in the forest. But look at this mountain ridge. This is the direction of King's Peak. We can't see it because I think this big mountain right here is blocking our view, but 
There's a nice little stream flowing right down the middle. And the trail kind of runs right along the forest line. So we're going to keep going that way. And we're about a mile from our camp spot, but if we find something better here on trail, we might just camp there. This is pretty incredible right here, though. We got a lot of daylight left, though. Look at that, as far as you can see. Man. It's a long route, right there. Yeah, it is. Let's see, hopefully, maybe there'll be a cool camp spot right up here. Well, it's night five. We made it to our camp spot. We got everything set up. We got here pretty early today, and it's another good one. I would say it's probably not the most spectacular one that we've had, but that's uh, saying a lot because they're all. Uh, they've all been pretty amazing. We came from out there and we kind of did a lot more like kind of valley walking today but you can see the long ridge and we've all got our tent set up here. We've got a water source right over here and it's right before you really start. We've been climbing for the last hour before we got here but it's right before we start our ascent up to Anderson Pass, the highest point on the trail and Kings Peak, the highest mountain in Utah. I got my duplex set up here. And we're going to sleep good tonight and get our biggest day, probably our biggest day of climbing, if you include the mountain, done tomorrow. Are you guys ready to climb that mountain tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Check another high point I off know. the list. Two and two months, I'm pretty stoked about that. Heck yeah, man. Anyways, we're gonna uh, hit the sack. Thank you.